Trust me, you're going to want to watch till the end for this one. Let's be real. You've considered a job in data science because you've heard of the lucrative six-figure starting salaries or those perks of working in tech. There's nothing wrong with wanting a job that pays well, but please don't have this unrealistic expectation that data science is some sort of perfect job with no problems at all, because that is so not true. I'm going to spend the next five minutes talking about four things that nobody tells you about working as a data scientist, and after that, I'll leave it up to you to decide if it's still something that you want to pursue. Let's get straight into the video. So the first thing is that data science requires constant learning and upskilling. The industry is always evolving as new technologies are being developed overnight. Data science isn't one of those jobs where you can learn something once and expect to apply it over and over again and still get away with it. Systems and programs can change so quickly and you always have to be on the lookout for what's up and coming and also be open to learning new tech stacks. Back in 2018, my workplace sent me to do a three-day SAS training course. This programming language is hardly used these days due to cost and scalability issues, and also the open source programming languages like R and Python have just gained so much traction and popularity over the last couple of years. And this doesn't apply for just technologies, but also if you move industries. So as an example, if you move from say healthcare to working in finance, there's gonna be a whole bunch of business knowledge and finance jargon that you just have to upskill on. After all, data science is all about generating value for your business. So it's really, really important to understand the specifics of the field that you are working in, in order to add the most value. If you've watched any of my recent day in the life videos, you will know that I recently moved from working in five years in finance to working in digital marketing now. And the amount of domain knowledge that I had to pick up on in my first couple of months was crazy. And on top of that, the kind of work changes every time you move roles. No two data science job positions are the same. Um, there could be different tech stacks, different visualization platforms, as well as just different machine learning models that you have to learn. Now, this brings me to my next point, and that is a lot of your non-technical stakeholders will be clueless, but extremely demanding. Now, this doesn't apply for all stakeholders. I've worked with some really, really lovely understanding ones. This just caters for some of them out there that have made my life extremely difficult, and I have been pretty frustrated at times. As wonderful as ChatGPT has been for my coding abilities, it has definitely made our lives harder. All these advancements that have happened in natural language processing and building large language models over the past year have definitely increased the expectations of what data science can achieve. Now, what this means for us data scientists is that a lot of the business stakeholders are now jumping on this bandwagon without even knowing what they really want. So what they do is throw out some creative ideas that magically solve all of their problems and increase business revenue and increase customer engagement and expect you to be able to implement this in a very small amount of time. Because if ChatGPT can do it instantly, then why can't you? And unfortunately, this sort of unrealistic expectation ends up falling onto the data science team to implement and at the very least manage expectations. And quick intermission before I continue, if you are enjoying this kind of content, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. It really does mean a lot to me. And if you don't enjoy this content, then please let me know down in the comments below what you would like to see me talk more about. Back into the rest of the video. There are going to be times where you question your own sanity. Am I enough? Am I in the right field? Am I an imposter? Because you will feel like a failure a lot. There are always going to be things in this vast world of data science that you don't know, and you might have to spend a lot of time learning it. Every day as I browse LinkedIn and read like towards data science medium articles, I feel like there's a seemingly unending number of new data science languages, frameworks, packages that I have to know. So for myself, I'm currently working on some text classification models at work that I've never really done before, given I was working in like a very regulated part of finance. And I find myself reading so many articles online, trying to learn what is the best thing that I should be using. And at the same time, battling a bunch of technical issues when I'm trying to reproduce someone else's code in my own Jupyter notebooks. And this is still something that I'm trying to work on myself, but just know that you are going to fail along the way, but try and embrace it as an opportunity for growth because after all, failure is the best way to learn. And lastly, most people have computer science or maths degrees, some have masters or PhDs, and you'll have some highly motivated, self-taught, brilliant data scientists. 
Unfortunately, these days, being good at coding alone just isn't good enough anymore as the competition is so fierce. You've really got to find a way to stand out from your crowd, whether that's building up a really solid portfolio in GitHub, which I highly recommend you do actually with all your key projects, or becoming an expert in a particular industry or niche. Soft skills and communication are also so, so underrated and important. And the ability to translate complex data problems into meaningful insights that your business can actually take on is the key to being recognized. So that's all I've got for today. If these four things are some things that you think you can take on, then all the best on your data science journey. If you find a words from me, try to not let buzzwords just be buzzwords. Really try to embrace your lifelong learning and develop a growth mindset. The data science industry is definitely very rewarding, but there will be obstacles along the way. Don't be discouraged too easily. Learn from your mistakes and good luck. As always, please consider subscribing to my channel and take care, stay safe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.